or ask him in four. So next up, heat two, Matteo Diodato. He's had a week of it. He's in lane four for Italy. Salen Zercani in five for Hungary. Ah, they've had a redraw in this actually, compared to uh, what we've seen earlier, certainly in terms of what's printed it in front of me. So we've had a dropout. Yeah, either Laszlo Galic of Hungary, who we have on our sheet as being the lane number four here. It's obviously Diodato on your screen. So now somebody in the faster heat's dropped out and he's been pushed up into the fast heat. More than likely what's happened there. Yeah, so a total redraw in this. So, um... Fascinating to see how this is going to go. So away we go in this. So it's basically the reverse order from what they originally drawn in. So it's uh, Diogo Cardoso of Portugal in zero, Luca Carl of Austria in one. It's uh, Jose Paulo Lopez of Portugal in three, Jovo Romano of Israel in three, Lopez two, Matteo Diodato of Italy is in four, Zelen Zaccani is in lane five, six is now empty. That was supposed to be Alejandro Puebla. Seven, Miha Yuditsky of the Czech Republic. And eight is Jordan Yanchev of Bulgaria. So the thing about the Czech Republic is that officially they've said they want now to be known as Czechia in the English language. Uh, what Slovak Republic did 30 years ago on uh, their split out of Czechoslovakia. They said they wanted to be known as Slovakia. So at the recent European Under-23, weightlifting championships which I uh, was working on they had singlets that said Czechia and the other singlet said the Czech Republic so whatever you're having yourself uh, Zerkani leading the way well in second spot is Yanchev third Lopez Diodato in fourth spot after the 100 here as we approach 150 in this it is a big lead for Zerkani of Hungary in five leading by about three seconds or so 2.44 over Yanchev in eight and Lopez in third spot for Portugal, about three seconds down. Yeah, Diodato, the Italian, the only swimmer in this race, who's been sub eight minutes, uh, 7.58. He's only out in a, he'll do well to be out under two minutes here. I don't think he will be, but Sarkani really going for it. The Hungarian, his best time of an 8.01. He's flying actually here. Like, yeah, one fifty five eight for him. That's real intent in that first 200 meters. The back 200 could hurt going out that fast. Yanchev out in eight is back from Lopez. So, yeah, Diodato's out in a two minutes, 0.78. So he's going to have to almost negative split this race to have a chance of doing that. Negative split, for those of you that don't know, is when your back half of your race is actually faster than your front half, which is very, very rare because obviously in the front half you have a dive and you're fresher in the front half. But some swimmers, especially in distance events, have been known to negative split their races for their so in this race, it would be their back 400 would, would be faster than their front 400. So that's what he's going to have to do to have a chance of going sub eight minutes. Looks unlikely at the moment, but Sarkani the Hungarian, real, real nice. Just purpose to his stroke, just quite a high stroke rate for an 800 freestyle. Just as we see it in live time here, gliding through the water. Sarkani of Hungary, he's through a 255.3. He's hanging on really, really well. He's got intentions of going sub eight minutes for the first time does Zarkani yeah Zarkani leading the way well here by uh, a good amount ahead of Jordan Yanchev in second third Jose Paolo Lopez fourth Matteo Diodato at the moment for Italy who's an open water swimmer in his own right from Livorno Aquatic silver in the men's 5k open swimming in the uh, Italian championship back in April the indoor open water swimming championships. Big stadium, I presume. Uh, Zarkani then. It's going really good. Lead of six seconds over Yanchev. Hungary one. Bulgaria two. Portugal three. Uh, Jov Romano, who's seen a lot of this week, coming in fourth spot now for Israel. Mihal Yuditsky of Czechia, the Czech Republic, in fifth spot. So hitting halfway, 355-4-2 in 400 he's a 756 man coming into this 
Also, he's already been sub. Eight minutes. So he knows what it's like to be under that. So, Sarkani holding on to sort of 29 nines. 30 points. So he knows exactly the feeling of what he should be. He's miles clear of the rest of the field. Diodato struggling to hold on. The only other sub, eight minute guy in the field. So Kanye now at 30.1, so he's, he's really steady. He's super, super steady. And right as the rest of the field actually looks like, yes, Lopez and Yanchev still having a really strong race. The Bulgarian out in lane number eight. You know, swimming out in his own as well. So we've got these little pockets of people swimming out in their own. Is that close up shot there of Sarkani approaching the wall here for the 500 meter turn? Let's keep an eye. 55 is what he turned in, so watch the seconds clock. 53, 54. Still 55, it's really, really solid swim. 29.9, he's like a metronome. He's 29.9, 30 flat, 29.9, 30 flat. And then watch his back 100 get even faster as he'll sprint for home. Only about 275 meters to go in this. The penultimate race, actually, of the morning. We'll have a swim off of the 100 freestyle for you afterwards, so don't be going anywhere for that. And so a lot of good control being issued in this 250 to go for Zalin Zakani of Hungary and his lead close on eight nine seconds now for Lopez in second position third Yanchev for Bulgaria 10 seconds down fourth Diodato 11 seconds down that we saw in the 1500 freestyle final just outside the medals in that Romano was in the 400 free final where he just was pushed out in the end. But tonight is when the big action, the main action happens. Arkani is trying to come up with a time that would jostle in between them. 5.55 with 200 to go. Lopez now 8.2 seconds down. Yanchev in third for Bulgaria. Diodato has moved up to fourth. Yuditsky for the Czech Republic in fifth position. Romano now, who was pushing up quite well earlier, has uh, suddenly shot down a sixth spot. Luca Carl in seventh, Cardoso in eighth. And now with 150 to go, 626, Sakani whiling away the meters. It is going to be a significant win. Lopez 8.7 seconds down in second place. Yeah, no doubt about the winner. Sarkani dropping off ever so slightly to 30.2, 30.3, so maybe saving some for this, the last 100 where we'll hear the bell go to signify 100 meters to go for. Sarkani, the Hungarian swimmer. So there's the bell as he touches 6.56. He has 30.0, so now expect this. Expect the legs now of Sarkani, white hat. Middle of your picture to begin to go. Expect the arms to really get faster as all the bells are going now for the last 100 meters. But the camera pans back to Sarkani eventually. You will see his leg. He'll want to now think about bringing the legs and bringing the arms. You've only got some 55 meters are going off this wall he will kick hard for home trust me so Zarkani coming good 50 meters to go for Hungary this has been his race in his heat he would have loved to have made it into the final remember Alejandro Puebla didn't start for Spain and neither did Laszlo Galish for Hungary but well, that's been the nature of it Zarkani has been really quality and he's on his way to get his win in the 800 freestyle. Gets the win, 755.26. Solid victory, and he'll win by 10 seconds or more. He's done at Lopez in second spot, 805. Yanchev three, Diodato four, Yudisky five. But Sakani, 755.26 the winning time. Yeah, very, very solid swim, Sarkani. Good, good consistency for his splits throughout the, the whole 800 there. 29 highs, 30 lows, finishing off on a 29.3 uh, to come back. So 29.1, sorry, come back for a 7.55. So sub eight minutes is really, really strong. As the confirmation comes up, Sarkani 7.55, Lopez 8.05, Yanchev 8.08. Diodato, not the best swim for him, the Italian. He'll be disappointed in the 8.09. And no swim from Puebla. And last